Welcome back, Storytimers. Today's read aloud is Who Ate the Cake? by Kate Leek. Bob was Freddy's dog. He was always getting into trouble, mostly for eating things that he shouldn't. Bad Bob, no biscuit. Freddy was Bob's boy. Freddy was often in trouble too, mostly because he liked collecting things. Not more things, Freddy. Eek. Every week. Freddy counted up his pocket money and bought lots of new things from his collector's weekly catalogue. So far, he had collected 15 toy cars, 11 comics, 12 robots, 7 cacti, 9 trains, 16 dinosaur bones, 5 ships in bottles, 10 shark teeth, 8 cuckoo clocks, 6 snow globes, 4 pink ponies, which he sent back three aliens and a handful of creepy crawlies. Bob loved Freddy's collection. It gave him plenty of interesting things to chew, especially the dinosaur bones. Mum and Dad were less happy. Freddy, they said, there must be no more things. But that very afternoon, another huge box arrived. Freddy had ordered so many things from his collector's weekly catalogue that he'd earned a mystery-free gift. Bob sniffed the box suspiciously. It smelled sort of, mm, fishy. Squawk! We'd better not tell Mum and Dad about this, said Freddy. Then he lifted the lid and out popped a pelican. Freddy was thrilled. But Bob didn't like the pelican. It was big. It was flappy, and its beak was wide enough to gulp down a computer. Gulp. Which is exactly what it did when Freddy wasn't looking. No, barked Bob. Pesky pelican. Shh, said Freddy. Mum and Dad mustn't find out about him. And that was just the start of the chaos. First, Mum's knitting went missing. Grrr, growled Bob. Pesky pelican. Then it was Dad's daffodils. (gasps) <gasps> gasped Bob, pesky pelican. Then it was Grand's best tea set, plus some very posh pastries from Paris. Help, said Bob, pesky pelican. Then it was all of Bob's favourite chewy toys. No, cried Bob, pesky pelican. But did the pesky pelican get the blame? Of course not. Nobody knew about him. They all blamed Bob instead. My knitting, cried Mum. Bad Bob, no biscuit. My daffodils, groaned Dad. Bad Bob, no biscuit. My tea set, squeaked Gran. Bad Bob, no biscuit. My chewy toys, howled Bob. Sad Bob, more biscuits. But nobody understood him. Bob decided that pesky pelican was nothing but big, bad, beaky trouble. But the next day was Freddy's birthday. Bob was determined to be on his best Bob behaviour. That way he might get a piece of Freddy's big birthday cake. The cake had been baking all morning and it smelled scrumptious. Bob tiptoed into the kitchen to have another good sniff before tea time. But he was too late. With one beaky gulp, the pelican ate the whole cake. There was nothing left but one teeny tiny cherry. Gulp. No, howled Bob. Pesky pelican. He chased that pesky pelican all round the kitchen. But the pelican was too fast and floppy for him. Pans clattered, plates smashed. Spoon scattered, food splashed, and everyone came running to see what the commotion was. My kitchen, shrieked Mum. My cake, said Freddy. Bad Bob, shouted everyone. Look at this mess. There was custard on the windows, plates on the floor, jam on the ceiling and a pelican on the fridge. Good gracious, said Mum, there's a pelican on the fridge. I told you so, barked Bob. Oops, said Freddy. It took a long time to unpack the pelican's beak. Inside, they found one entire big birthday cake, minus one teeny tiny cherry, 
Grand's tea set, and some very soggy pastries from Paris, Dad's daffodils, something that had once been Mum's knitting, all of Bob's chewy toys, and a whole lot of other things they hadn't even noticed were missing. Poor Bob, cried everyone. All those days of no biscuit, and he'd not been a bad Bob at all. Bob needs a treat, said Dad. What would you like for tea, Bob? Sausages, barked Bob. And for once, everyone understood him perfectly. Bob ate a lot of sausages, while Mum and Dad stuffed that peckish pelican's beak full of juicy fish, and Gran and Freddy baked another cake. After all the fuss, it turned into Freddy's best birthday ever, especially when there was a knock on the door. And another mystery gift arrived. (coughs) Thank you for listening and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.